In fighting games, you have all types of different archetypes of characters that you have that really glues everything together for you to find that specific character that you love so much. You have your martial artist type characters, the rival best friend or anti-hero of the game, the kung fu girl, the kung fu guy, even the occasional drunken old man. But there's another ingredient in there that holds all of that together. I'm talking about grapplers, baby. Are you ready for this? Play the intro. Blackmore. What is up, folks? Blackmore here, back at you with another history behind the fighting styles. Virtual Fighter Edition. And today's episode, we're going to be going over Wolf Hawkfield. And it's about time I get to this character because I really want to break a part of his wrestling style to come together to see does his wrestling style either, does it match up similar to what we have a uh, King and Armor King and Taken. But sit back and relax and enjoy today's episode, folks, because you are in for a treat. Check it out. The gentle Canadian giant with a burning spirit for pure competition. Wolf's wrestling moveset is pretty interesting, I may add. For the longest, I was stumped trying to figure out his influence until I went back to the drawing board looking through a bunch of old school Japanese wrestlers for inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Kenta Kobashi, aka Orange Crush, aka Bernie, one of the most influential wrestlers in Japan in the 90s. He is one of the four pillars of heaven from all Japan pro wrestling, embodying the fighting spirit in King's Road style. Wolf's style, very similar to Kenta, uses quite a bit of heart strikes with a heavy focus on knees and kicks. Even Wolf's throws are a one-for-one -one near recreation of Kenta's burning hammer, in which he's only used seven times throughout his career. This move alone is considered extremely dangerous to perform as the person receiving it cannot roll into the ball. Another signature Kenta move that Wolf uses is the burning chops. Even down to the double fist pump taunts is something Kenta would do. Over the many entries, Wolf's style evolved more and more. Even just gaining a lot of more uh, famous throws out there. He even has Bradshaw's clothesline from hell, which is pretty interesting. But it, it seems... To be on the fence of a shoot style wrestling is what I'm starting to gather of where the line is drawn with Wolf's uh, wrestling style, which makes more sense with his approach in his strikes and knees, and the crazy grappling finishers that he has. I really wouldn't be surprised if the Virtual Fighter team approached motion capture the same way Harada did for Taken 3 and onward. Maybe even getting a certain wrestler to do the mocap for them. Overall, Wolf's approach to wrestling in the 3D fighting game space is a fascinating thing to watch in my personal opinion. So keep on trucking, Wolf, and hit him with some more burning hammers out there. To be strong is beautiful. And there you have it, folks, Wolf Hawkfield. It's quite interesting to see where a lot of his signature grab moves come from. And the fact that it comes from Kenta Kobashi, of all people, is quite interesting to mind you. I would not be surprised if this guy ended up doing the motion capture for Wolf, just in a similar case of what the Taken team did with a lot of their characters of having either famous martial artists or uh, wrestlers and stuff like that. I, I would not be surprised at all if they went that route because um, Virtual Fighter in itself already has a very, very rich history, especially some beautiful animations to me personally with a lot of its characters. But do you feel Wolf truly represents 
the wrestling style to a T? I'll let you be the deciding factor on that. But if you enjoyed today's video, folks, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on any upcoming content coming to the channel. And I just want to say once again, I do appreciate every single one of you, uh, every one of you that have been just sticking with the channel more than anything, just showing support. Like I, I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you. But I'll catch y'all next time, folks. Stay safe out there. Peace. The study of Kung Fu fighting is ongoing. Don't ever hope to master all of them. So be careful.